part of the Valentine's Day looks that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be doing multiple, I think, maybe five, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. So yeah, this is like a pink burst. I'm going to call it a pink burst. Um, it kind of starts off with pinks and goes to purple and just kind of just fades off. I've got black winged eyeliner. Um, it just really frames the eyes, it's really dramatic and um, yeah, I think it's the colours of love and lust. So I hope you enjoy it, um, subscribe right up there, uh, comment for what you want me to do next because I'll take um, anything, like say you wanted like big, uh, want to make your eyes look bigger for a romantic date, I don't know, anything I will do it, me and Rosie will get down to that and um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoy it. So, I'm just going to prime the eye with um, Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. So just put that all over the lid, up to the brow bone. And just rub that in. Okay. And then. In my Coastal Scents 88 Colour Eyeshadow Palette, I am going to take this light pink here and just put it all over my lid. Up to the crease of it. And then I'm going to take this ready colour here and just, what I'm going to do is blend it out. So obviously first it will come out really, really dark, but it kind of gets blended. And then when you've, you've got to like that, and then you just really blend it out so it's not such a deep red, like ready pink. And you just really blend it. Okay, so you've got that. And then you're going to go in with a dark kind of purple. It's like a plum. This, this colour here. Where did it go? That one there. And then just going to take that and put it. Put it from the outer corner and then blend inwards. So, and almost make like a triangle at the side of your eye. So, you're gonna go like that and then like that. So, so you kind of got that at first, and then it's gonna just be blended out. Give your eyes like a three-dimensional look. So you're left with that. Okay, and then, because obviously this has got to be kind of tidied up a bit, because we don't want it like a really, really high-eyed look. So then I'm going to take my black uh, liner, you can just use a pencil or a liquid liner, it doesn't really matter that much, 
and then you're going to do a line all the way across the eye. Be careful not to tug your eyes too much, you get premature wrinkles. It's so much easier to taper it, but you could, like, even just doing that a tinsy bit kind of helps, but just try and even dot it on. Just don't pull too much on your eye, because you'll regret it later. And then just do a little wing. At first it's quite long, but then you're going to thicken it up. So just go from the bottom corner, and just start thickening it up. Doesn't have to be perfect at first. You can always change it a bit. And then carry this along the bottom, underneath your bottom eyelashes, like so. And if you have gone wrong, just take a makeup wipe or whatever you use to remove your makeup and just go around. I like to have a smaller flick for this because it's already really dramatic with your colour. You don't want to like look ridiculously overdone so. I'm going to do a highlight underneath my brow bone so. Just get like a white colour, or it doesn't really matter, or like a peachy colour and just put it on your brow bone. Sorry, I couldn't find another brush, so I'm kind of just using my finger. It just goes to show you don't have to have it perfect. Okay, so next we're going to go on to the lips. As your eyes are really bright and really dramatic, you're going to have a nude lip. This is by Revlon and is actually called Nude Pink in colour 206. And you just put this on. It's just a really nice colour. I really like it. I mean, you can lip line if you want, but I feel like your eyes are just so dramatic that you shouldn't really um, muck that up. So I'm going to take my big fake false eye eyelashes. No, my big fake false uh, eyelash effect mascara. I try and say that a lot. It's not easy. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put that on. It's pretty much just a volumising mascara, so it's going to make your eyelashes look really nice. You can obviously cut your eyelashes beforehand, but for some reason with this mascara, it kind of... Because of the really, really bright eyes, I'm not going to do anything in terms of blusher. You can contour if you'd like, but apart from that, this is the eye look. Oh, I hope you like this lighting, by the way. It looks much better than usual, so...